Hmm. Now a little bit of time has passed. Has anything changed? No. Um, do I have anything more to go on? No. Have my feelings changed? No. Um, has my perspective changed? Maybe. Hmm. So, anyway. Something different. So, <clears throat> 7 o'clock tonight, you know, Thursday, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's like, there's no one left. That's it. I'm, I'm kind of all they got. And, uh, you know, I'll go. And I almost hope that no one else shows up. You know, because the people that do show up, I don't have their answers. And, uh, like, a lot of the people that, you know, it's like one of the reasons I... I should and feel I, I I owe it to everybody and owe it to every you know it's because people were there for me when I got here. Well, where is everybody now? They're all gone. It's like I show up and start doing things, and it's like, oh, you got a live one. Okay, everybody should you know, scatter, go away. You know, Eric's got this, and it's like I am not capable of doing all the stuff that uh, people uh, throw at me and ascribe onto me and it's like I am not all these things um, it's like I am <laughs> I mean I'm in recovery myself and all of this uh, you know stuff it's not helping it people should, oh it it helps oh it's, oh, it's helping you you just don't it's, no no it's not um, I feel stressed out and pressured, and uh, people tell me, "Oh, it's helping. Oh, you, you're happy. You should feel um, uh, welcome and loved and uh, um, gifted, and you know all that stuff." Oh, you're happy. Oh, by the way, we're not going to be there though. Um, you're on your own. Um, you got this, by the way. And if you don't got this, well, you know, well, we're sorry for you. You know, you weren't good enough, or. You know, you weren't actually ever sober. You were just, you know, you know, you didn't understand. You didn't get it, you know, so. Oh, my gosh. It is so, uh, it's not, the, it's, it's very full of hypocrisy. But so is humanity. So, and so, you know, and I can be too. But at the, at the fundamental core, it's about, uh, you know, uh, saying what one believes and uh, behaving and acting accordingly. Um, so saying what one believes, saying what one is going to do, and then behaving accordingly and doing accordingly in line um, with what one says. Cause, and that's you know, adds credibility and legitimacy to, uh, you know, I mean, if I'm not honest... You know, first of all, I have to be honest with myself, but then it's a matter of practicing being honest with everybody else. So people, you know, have a chance to get to know me. And that's, the, that's one of the problems, is that people get a chance to get to know me, and they just, they, they trust me so much that they don't, they just believe in me way too much beyond my own comfort. And just expect me to, you know, deal with everything. Because Eric's... And it's like, I don't know where people get this idea. But I am not nearly as smart as what I feel people give me credit for. And I'm not nearly as strong or resilient. And this is not, this is not just me, like, trying to beat myself up or downplay, whatever. But no, people give me way too much. It's like, I'm not these things. Just because I can, you know, maybe it's just that I'm, I'm by comparison, because we rarely see people kind of take to this like I seem to. And it's only because it's life or death. I mean, for me, it's not, I mean, for a lot of people it is too, but they don't seem to care about their lives or something. I'm not sure. I, and my own care about my own life, well, 
I'm not doing anything else with my, you know, so it's like, I might as well try. And try my hardest, and I might as well. I mean, this is the only life I get, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, aside from the other one, but, you know, that, well, anyway, different topic. So I might as well have a decent time while I'm at it. And right now, with the way things are, and it's, you know, everything's temporary, and feelings aren't facts, and, um, and things change, and how it, how it is now is not how it's always going to be, even though it feels like forever. Dang it. Because it does feel like, and it's like, oh. Mm. But it isn't forever. And how I feel right now. However that is, I, I do, because I haven't figured it out yet. Because I'm, I'm doing the same thing as what people do to me. You know, it's like, I'm capable of doing the same thing. So, mostly, I'm just doing my best to, you know, try to, you know, and failing miserably at um, not paying as much attention and uh, trying to keep my thoughts to myself. Because I can think really loudly, apparently. And, uh, and not... Writing seems to be helping, you know, so it's helping with my injuries that I seem to be gathering, um, you know, all the different little, so I, it's like I need to work on my healing of, you know, physical, emotional, mental, spiritual, all these things. And I'm really doing a bad job of it, except for this. This seems to be, it's like I need to talk to myself. I need to talk myself calmer, talk myself down um, and just be nice when in doubt be nice how many times have I told other people to do that or suggested it to them I'm guilty of telling myself lies I don't tell other people lies I don't think I mean but you know it's hard to say I've only got myself I don't have uh, outside objectivity um, so, hmm, I think I'm doing okay. It seems like people like me. And it's me, that I'm the limiting factor on everything. I am the, the lowest common denominator. And, you know, because I just have difficulty trusting and uh, difficulty with lots of things. It's, it's just social stuff. I, I just would rather just, since I don't understand... And everything's confusing to me, and I just don't get it. I'll just be by myself, and then I don't have to worry about everything. And, um, you know, I'll have passing um, interests, and, you know, I don't understand those either. And, uh, you know, if things don't get explained to me, then I don't know. And uh, even when things are being explained to me, I still don't get it. And it's like, it can be exhausting. I can't imagine dealing with somebody like me because I just I'll keep asking questions because I you know it's like I don't like that I don't know and I don't like that I don't get it and it is very frustrating you know and it's like I gave up the alcohol and you know you know all the stuff that's that's me this that's not alcohol talking that's just me I have problems with, you know, without the alcohol. You know, it's like, with the alcohol, you didn't notice because I just shut down. I was just not there. I was there, but I wasn't there. Now, without the alcohol, now I'm talking. Now I'm interacting. Now I'm trying. That's, and now, that's where all these things are surfacing. They were always there. You just couldn't see them because I was just always drunk. I always had emotional problems, but you didn't see the emotion because I was always drunk. I always had social problems, but you didn't see them because I was just was just in a coma, a walking coma. You know, so I'd feel numb to everything because I couldn't handle anything. And it's like now, in reality, as I have a sense of things, I don't know how to handle stuff. And it's like I, the last thing I can do um, is shut down on it. You know, I can disappear. And I can take breaks, and I can stop talking, and I can stop showing up. It doesn't help me, 
um, but uh, it is an option. Um, but I can't afford to do that for very long. I have to stay active, stay engaged, uh, stay communicative. And because uh, otherwise stuff gets, gets away from me if I let it build up. Um, so, I don't know. Whatever it is I tend to be looking for, I will find. Um, so, if I'm feeling overly, um, you know, persecuted or attacked or, you know, it's not, it's not the outside world. It's, it's just me. It's my perception. Um, I feel like I'm doing something um, incorrectly or I'm not doing something that I should be doing or I feel, you know, there's that, what's that difference uh, between shame and guilt? Um, guilty or feeling guilt is where I've done something wrong and shame is where I feel like I am something wrong. And I'm trying to find something wrong and I can't find it. And it doesn't mean that I, it's just because I, there is nothing wrong. And I, I can't, so it's like I, I'm trying to find something that I've done wrong and I can't find it. And I'm guilty of being, um, I don't know. And that's a problem for me, you know. Um, I don't have um, much accountability and I don't have many expectations. Um, I'm already doing and being more than what anybody really expects of me. Except for the people that want stuff that I can't give them because I don't want it. But, you know, but then, you know, same applies elsewhere too. It's like, I might want stuff you know, but other people are incapable of giving it to me. So it's like, I can't hold that against them because they're in the same position as me. When people want stuff from me that I can't give them, what am I supposed to do? That desire is not there. So I can't hold it against anybody. So I don't know. It's a curiosity. And I mean, I just keep holding on to, you know, Hear a weird, weird sound. Oh, it's outside. I hear a phone ringing outside. Okay. Anyway, um, I wonder if my voice travels out, but I do whisper. So I like a whisper talk. So anyway, I was thinking about uh, the unknown and uh, until untime. Hmm. So I don't know what that means, but anyway, just random thoughts. And there's so much going on. This is like a really, I, I am, I'm glad to be having these problems. Let's go with that. I am highly frustrated with myself because I feel like I should understand. And I feel like I'm thought to understand. I don't understand. I'm just, maybe I'm not supposed to. Maybe it's all, it's like, that's what I default to. It has nothing to do with me. You know, it's not about me. It wasn't about me. It isn't about me. Um, I'm working under bad intelligence. And, you know, it's like, do I want it to be? Yeah. Well, we've been over that. So, and it, I just keep going in circles over it. You know, it's like, I'm sitting down, but I might as well be pacing or walking in a circle. Because nothing's changed. And I'm, I'm not making any progress, but I still think about it. And it's not like I'm, there's no resentment over it because it's just a, a lack of understanding on my part. So it's my failure to understand. It's not, it's not anybody else's failure to communicate. It's mine to understand. And they can, you know, tell me so many, they can, I can only be told in so many ways. 
And if I still don't understand, well, that's not on them, that's on me. So, and I don't mean to, I don't want to attract attention. And it's not about uh, uh, trying to, uh, just pity. You know, I don't, I don't, pity does me no good, you know. And, uh, and it's no one's, I'm not anybody's responsibility. No. You know, my emotional well-being is mine to deal with. And stuff like that, I think. I'm not asking. I'm just thinking out loud to myself because this is what this is. So, I don't know. Is it a vain hope? Is that a thing? Or is it a false hope? Or is it a real hope? Or what is hope? Hmm. I have to believe in something. I have to have faith in something. It would be a very lonely world if I didn't. I think. And I don't want to believe in myself. I mean, I do in one way, but I can't go on, you know, forever just believing in myself. It's like, I'm just not that uh, interesting on my lonesome. I mean, I. I I do have qualities, but uh, they only shine when, um, I don't know, when challenged. I, sh I shine best when challenged, um, under, uh, hmm. there's many types of challenges, you know, not just adversity. And not just dire circumstances, because I can find my own dire circumstances. I'm finding them right now. Real and imagined. So, anyway, I don't really want to go and secretary this meeting. I got I got to leave at 6:30 to get there um, to open it up and make coffee and uh, wait for people to show up that. They don't want to be there. And uh, I don't know what the impression is that they have that I'm there for, that I'm one of uh, those people, that their being there is really helpful. And, I, and it's my job to save them. It's like, I can't save them. I can't even help. I can, I can barely help. I, well, I can't help them. And I can't protect them, and I can't cure them, and I can't heal them. Um, and I really don't have all that much, really experience-wise, in common with them, except for, you know, uh, the addiction part, you know, and the recovery part, and the trying part, and the life part, and the being human part. But uh, a lot of the other stuff, I don't, sh I don't have their experiences. Um, so it's like, I don't know exactly how to connect. I try, but all I can do is share my story. I can't share somebody else's story. I don't have anybody else's story because I haven't lived anybody else's story. I can only talk about myself. And that might seem and might, you know, come across as, uh, you know, self-absorbed. But it's the only story I got. It's the only story I know how to tell. Um, and I don't like talking about myself this often but it's like what else am i going to talk about i don't got anything else going on for me and work is kind of just work and the most interesting thing that's happened to me in the most recent amount of time is this injury which is still it's just going to be worse tomorrow oh my gosh i have to take so much extra precaution Ugh. i don't know what there's to do about it but uh you know 
I'll just be there. That's all I can do. Just be there and be a body. I'm, I, I can do that. A body with a brain that talks. Hmm. Like a... It's a trick I do. Just talking with it. Hmm. So, I don't know. I've beaten myself up enough and comforted myself enough. Maybe somewhere in between I've made some sense. But... Shakes head itself. <sighs> oh, and the other thing I wanted to talk about before I probably have to go um, is that this is uh, I, I miss my writing already um, because with the writing I can see the words as they're happening and I can I can understand myself better um, because I can see the words and I can read them and. I think I've already talked about this. See, I forget already. I think I've talked about this. But uh, the writing is a different form of communication entirely. Like writing versus just talking. It's the same, same thoughts, same person, but it's getting, it's extracting different material. It's like an entirely different person that's the presentation of this person that's talking. This is a, a different person than the one that types. Same person, different people. So it's like, I mean, this person can't be met either because this person feels safe and not on show and not on display and not performing, even though I am sort of, but anyway. But the person that's writing, that is a different person in a different zone. Um, and I, I feel I get better results from typing. But mm, waiting to see what happens here. It's going to be a long weekend. Mm. So. I don't like having to go dark from spaces, but without the writing, it's like, I don't know how not to. And maybe that's what I feel slightly guilty about is I feel like I should be writing, even though I'm, you know, dealing with physical injury, but I feel like I've gone missing and uh, maybe I'm not missed at all. Probably not. I like to give myself credit for being missable, but uh, probably, probably I give myself far too, far too much credit, which is kind of a, you know, only acknowledging reality or a possible reality. Maybe everything is noticed and absence. I tend to notice when things change around me, when behaviors change, when activity changes, when I just kind of notice a lot, um, probably more than what I'm supposed to. Um, so it's like I give, since I'm able, since I notice things like that, I kind of, you know, it's like maybe other people notice that kind of stuff too, or maybe, I don't know. How much stuff do I actually think that I notice that I don't notice? Questions. I have very, I, and that's the other thing too. Is like a lot of the questions I'll never get answers to because I'll have forgotten them. And uh, so it's like uh, that was it was good for me to get answers when I was able to ask them at the time. Um. So anyway, <sighs> another twenty five minutes, and. Uh, I guess I should get ready to go. It looked like a really nice sunset outside. Um, 
I've been thinking about, uh, but I haven't taken any action on going and seeing where the sun sets. I've never gone and seen where the sun sets around here. I've been in Indiana for um, over four and a half years now. I've never really investigated where the sun sets. You know, the west. But I've never gone and seen it. I've never witnessed a sunset here. So, it's something to think about. I have a good idea of where to see one, um, like a good uh, viewing point. Um, I'm going to try... Um, well, the closest place is uh, Heron Park. So, it's not too far away. Hmm. It's not the most picturesque, but hmm, it's close. So, I don't know. I'm stalling. I don't want to go. That's kind of one of the things I am able to do here is uh, try to create a uh, safe space. Ugh. 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 Okay, yeah, okay, well, I'm going to go now. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay.